Fascinating. Working on any cases at the moment? Well, now that you ask, I am, or was, uh, working on an international case at Scotland Yard. <laughs> There's that smell of almonds again. is most inconvenient. Oh. 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 If the chief inspector thinks I have a big beak, he should look in the mirror. What's that? It's coming from up there. He certainly is, ma'am. And he's an hero to boot. Stop that barrel cold and prevented a disaster, he did. Why will it? What good work. Thank you, Annie. It was nothing. What's happened? Ah, here's your Reginald P. Tree Duck right now. Reggie, this lady is looking for you. Uh, Mr. Tree Duck, I have in my possession a birthday cake that you might have ordered. It has the name Millie on it. Oh, there must be a mistake. I already have a cake like that. It's for my sister Millie's birthday tonight. I'll show it to you straight away. How odd. I'm beginning to think perhaps the bakers simply made one Millie cake too many. Then what say we have a wee bite? Seeing as no one's gonna miss it. Perhaps later. I have one more address on my list to check out first. Uh, come along, Willard. I was just about to weave my net to capture the spies when the chief inspector and I had our little misunderstanding. I'm afraid there's a taxi following us. It would be most helpful if we could duck them. Consider it done, Mum. Why does this happen every time? Done. Willard? Oh, very. Right then. Next stop, Big Ben. That will be our last stop, and I will pay your fare. You've been very kind and helpful, hasn't he, Willard? <laughs> very. You're looking for Wallace Potchard, you say? Yes, if it's not too much trouble. Not for me. You're the ones who have to <laughs> climb to the top. He's the clockmaster. He's giving Ben's face a good dusting. I'm coming with you this time, Auntie. That would be most helpful, Willard. After my previous experiences, another pair of wings might come in handy. Had a rough morning, then, have you? Oh, yes. You wouldn't believe what's happened. You see, I, I was working on a... Willard? Interna Whoa! <laughs> Wallace Potchard? Calling Wallace Potchard! Oh, how very loud! <gasps> that smell of almonds! I must be careful! Oh, my! Oh! Oh! Oh, this is all a bit iffy! Oh. 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 
Of Scotland Yard. Terribly sorry, sir. Not to worry, Widgeon. All in the line of duty. But who made me fall? I'm afraid I didn't see anyone when I followed you up here. After today's events, it's a wonder we can deliver this cake in one piece. But I already have my cake. It's for my wife Millie's birthday. Then I guess we can eat this cake, Auntie, since this is the last stop on your list. What? 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 <laughs> Withered. It's a good thing you kept your beak shut this time, or you would have swallowed this evidence. Yes, Auntie. Hmm? Oh, let me see that, please. Microfilm. So that's why you've been following us. Yes. These are the plans for a secret weapon, the Ducky Wucky missile. And I was hoping that you would lead me to the head of the spy ring. We've been working on my case all along? I mean, my old case? Yes, and it means that you have never been truly off the case all morning. You have been closer to it than anyone at Scotland Yard. But then, who is the ringleader? I'm afraid we may never find out. We captured the spy who tossed this cake at your aunt in an attempt to get rid of the evidence. But he's not talking. Hmm. Almonds! Aha! Spies, secret plans, cakes. I have put all the clues together. I know where we can find the leader of the spy ring. One of you is guilty of being an enemy agent. Uh -huh. And Miss Mallard here has the evidence to prove it. Impossible! We're much too busy with our cakes. Oh, yes, I can see that. But there is a reason you're behind in your orders. Isn't there, Christopher? You... Bet there is. He was in and out of the shop all day long. He didn't get a lick of work done. You are the duck who tried to steal my knitting bag. You were trying to get the microfilm back. Stop him! Yes, Auntie! I wish Chief Inspector Bufflehead had seen that. You see, Christopher would obtain secret plans and hide them in cakes so they could easily be delivered to his spy ring. But why did you suspect one of the bakers, Auntie? It happened when I tasted the cake, uh, after Willard so skillfully discovered the microfilm. It had almond flavoring. And I smelled almonds each time. Just before my life was in danger. Mmm, very good. Well, it's only logical that anyone with the scent of almond flavoring on their clothes would be a baker. Then I remembered that Christopher decorates his cakes with script writing, like on the evidence Willard so kindly um, tasted for us. But Winston prints his cake messages. I could never get him to print the messages. Now I see why. He wanted to keep the cake separated, his from mine. That is how I knew who was guilty. And we have the ringleader in custody, thanks to you and Inspector Widgeon. Ringleader, you say? He should be decorated. Oh, oh my. Widgeon! Just what do you think you're doing? I took you off the case, remember? What have you been doing all day? Blabbing to everyone, I imagine. Bufflehead, your man here has been instrumental in breaking the spy ring. He saved a crowd of tourists from harm, discovered the microfilm, and captured the villain as he tried to make good his escape. But... how? I'm afraid, sir, I can't tell you that. That information is confidential. Book him, Bufflehead. 
while I write my report and give Inspector Willard special commendations. I had a feeling everything would work out, Willard. And not to worry, Auntie. From now on, I'm keeping my beak shut. Well, except when I eat, of course. And certainly when it comes to Chief Inspector Pufflehead not knowing who you are. It makes me look good. We are quite a team, you and I, Willard. Now, may I take you on that tour, I promised? Yes, please. Uh, but might we get a bite to eat first? All this talk of cakes has made me very hungry. For anything that doesn't have almonds in it. <laughs> Thank you. 